Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing LAFC 4, Real Salt Lake nil in League's Cup 2023, round of 16. LAFC is back. LAFC is back, baby. They back. At half, it was nil-nil, tight game. LAFC looked like they were pressing the pace. They were pushing forward. RSL was very good defensively, and they had, they didn't really have any chances. LAFC looked like the slightly better team, but once the second half started, my lord, ball played over the top in the 52nd minute to Denny Bawanga, who's onside, who nutmegs the defender and pops it past Zach McMath to make it 1-0. Beautiful, beautiful goal by Denny Bawanga. Then, four minutes later in the 56th minute, Justin Glad is hearing the song Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. He falls asleep, passes the ball right into the path of a pressing Denny Bawanga. Denny Bawanga dispossesses Justin Glad and top bends it against Zach McMath to make it 2 0 in four minutes. Get a brace and four minutes for Denny Bawanga. You don't let him have that easy chance. It's 2-0. 62nd minute ball crossed in. Nathan Ordaz turns it home to get his second goal in as many games for LAFC in the League's Cup as well. 62nd minute, 3-0 for Nathan Ordaz. Beautiful goal. And Philip Philip Krastov scores in his debut for LAFC. Ball played into him. He puts it to the near post. Bogus plays it into him. Palencia plays it to Bogus. Bogus plays it to Krostov. Krostov shoots it into the near post and puts it past McMath in the 84th minute to make it 4-0. And that's the way it would end. It would end 4-0 to LAFC. Stats are as follows. 19 shots to 10. 9 shots on goal to 0, 53% possession to 47% possession, 453 passes to 398, 83% pass accuracy to 81, 12 fouls to 8, 3 offside to 1, 2 yellow cards to 0, 0 red cards to 0, 7 corners to 2, and here we are. LAFC are back. That second half was so dominant. That second half was LAFC of 2022. They were one-way traffic. Down the pitch, RSL had no answers. None. None. Zero answers defensively. And you tell me that RSL have an amazing chance to get to the quarterfinal of the West and maybe even get out of the West in this tournament. They're a good team this year. But when LAFC is at their best and they needed the break that they had, they're just different. This was Champions League LAFC pre-Leon. This was 2022 LAFC. This was the LAFC that won MLS Cup. Denny Bulwonga with two goals has five in this tournament. Third best goal scorer in this tournament. And if he scores two more... And the other two guys that he's chasing down are still in this tournament. He could win the Golden Boot in this tournament. And if LAFC gets to the final, it's very likely that it's a showdown in the final for Golden Boot as well between Messi and Buanga. Legitimately. Like, yeah, Messi being in the Golden Boot race, that makes sense. Denny Buanga makes sense. Long one for Minnesota, though? Come on now. But Denny Bolonga's had two great matches, and the only reason. He is... The only reason he has only five instead of seven or eight goals is because he couldn't play the group stage. Because LAFC had the bye. And Lord have mercy, Denny Bolonga. Man, he's back. Messi might mess around and win the Golden Boot in both this tournament and the MLS season. Denny Bawanga might have something to say about that. <laughs> That's how good he is. So, listen. Denny Bawanga did just enough. Just enough for LAFC. And then the floodgates opened from there. Nathan Orr dies. Played well as a striker. Carlos Vela could not play this game. So you know what? They put up there. 
Nathan Orr dies, and he puts in a good shift. Gets a goal, has a nose for goal, very good for Orr dies. I'm very impressed with him. Good play. Then, of course, the new boy, Philippe, we'll call him that because that's easier for me to say. And besides, I think I let his last name slip my brain, so we'll just call him Philippe. But, again, the new boy, Philippe, scores a goal. Amazing as a midfielder. Makes a great run. LAFC, they don't need no big names. Like, they got the Bales of the world last year, and they won the cup. This year, they're getting some random dudes and academy dudes, and they're doing the same exact thing. LAFC, when they're on, they're on. You cannot stop them. They are a buzz saw, but when they're off, you can get to them. But they're on. Oh, they're on now. Oh, they're on now. Don't worry. They're on. And once they're on, well, trust me, this is definitely not a wrap for St. Louis, the Western Conference, and Seattle as well. Okay, LAFC could win the Western Conference regular season-wise and also definitely in the playoffs. I thought Portland would have a good playoff run. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if LAFC runs into Portland and that decides basically wins the West, whether that's because St. Louis is out and it's Portland LAFC or something like that. It'll be interesting to see because I think Portland will make the playoffs. But, again, LAFC, they're, they're on fire right now. RSL... They got looked, they looked like their older selves in this game. They looked like their mid selves, not their good season selves. Diego Luna did not start. He came on once the game was gone. That is a stupid managerial mistake by Pablo Mastoweni saying, Yeah, I'm going to put on my best, one of my best players when the game is gone instead of starting him. Yeah, that's just foolish. Anderson Julio as well in that substitution. What? That makes no sense whatsoever. And then you're telling me, maybe if you started Diego Luna and Anderson Julio, this game could have been different. By the way, RSL had no shots on goal. Chicho Arango, no revenge at all. Like, this game was a total crazy performance by LAFC. They pasted Juarez. They may not have pasted RSL in the first half, but the second half, they did. Man of the match for me... Again, Denny Bawanga, two goals, getting in the golden boot race after two games. Yeah, that's man of the match. It was smooth sailing after Bawanga did what he had to do. So, yeah, man of the match for me is Denny Bawanga. LAFC playing Monterey. Let me tell you something. I may not make my prediction now. I'm making it tomorrow. But let me tell you one thing. Monterey plays LAFC, and LAFC is playing like this. I don't like Monterey's chances. They lost their best striker. LAFC's a buzzsaw right now. Monterey fans, be wary. You made the quarterfinal. You could play for the West, but you have the better chance of being the one Mexican team left in the semifinals, better than Querétaro. Very likely we have no Mexican teams left going into the semifinals. It's all coming together for Don Garber, isn't it? But trust me, Monterey, it ain't going to be easy. It's going to be very hard. You may need a penalty shootout. Play defensively like you did against Tigres, maybe, but I don't know if LAFC are that easy to shut down. So we'll find out. But again, Denny Boonga's man of the match. LAFC absolutely dominated RSL. And they're through. I was right. I thought LAFC would go through. I was right. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe. Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlist. Share us with friends and family. All that great stuff. I shall see you tomorrow for a League's Cup round of 16 recap, quarterfinal predictions, and a live watch along and review of FC Motagua versus Sporting San Miguelito in the CONCACAF Central American Cup at 9 p.m. Central. And then the review's at like 11. So, But I'll see you then. I'll see you then. There'll be enough time in between both that I could do the recap and predictions video and it will still do good. So with that being said, I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Congratulations, LAFC. Commiserations, Real Salt Lake. We move to the quarterfinals, and we'll see who the division champions are that play the semis. I'm Ron, and I'm out. Peace.